I often hear from business owners. They say my direct reports are hard working, well qualified, but I feel they need to develop and evolve as better managers. Well, you are not alone. Many business owners say that I'm willing to invest in improving the capability of my key people, but I just don't know how to go about it. Main kya karu? Hi business owners this is your business coach Nalin Mehta welcome to my talk series kya karu specially recorded for you first i'm glad you are willing to invest time and resources to develop your team i assure you in the long run this will be the most productive investment you would do for if you have a good team you will be able to delegate more you delegate more it will free up your time and you will be able to work on business growth so first approach to develop your direct reports into better manager needs to be customized for each individual let me elaborate now the common topics like communication skills time management decision making will help to some extent this will improve overall management skills importantly will also foster team spirit in all the hods so by all means go for such programs however your direct reports are very likely hods with 5 to 10 years of experience in the function they head and the skills attitude required for their respective functions are different for different hods For example the head of quality needs to have a strict process orientation he has to be detail oriented he has to be rigid about rules understand what failures are happening in the field while your sales head he has to have a knack for building relationships understanding customer requirements ability to handle different cultures and he needs to have a very flexible approach it's obvious that their development needs must be understood based on what is required for their individual roles and the gap that you feel has to be bridged accordingly so let's call this customized approach as individual development plan in short form idp now here are some practical steps to create an effective idp for each of your hod first please write a role document for each hod what is expected from him many of you may already have it if not please document it now based on that role write down the skills knowledge and attitudes which are required to fulfill the role the example i gave about hod quality and hod sales are some skills and attitudes which are needed for the respective roles now knowledge for quality head could be quality processes instruments to check quality while for sales could be knowledge of industry knowledge on costing and pricing knowledge on customer applications etc making the above base is just a one time effort it needs to be reviewed once in 2 3 years or maybe if you introduce something very different Uh, than what you already have it's not time to assess each hod on skills knowledge and attitudes as of today he or she is exhibiting simply you could mark each of that attribute on a scale of 1 to 10 and this needs to be done about once a year this will give you a very clear picture of what areas need attention for each hod now here is the important second step share this assessment with individual hod ask discuss with him or her how to go about improving these specific areas making the hod aware itself will start the process of improvement create an action plan with the hod now there are three types of actions 
which can be included in this action plan. First, on the job training. Example, quality guy to understand the failure modes better may be asked to travel to the users and to the market with service people, say five days a quarter. The sales head, maybe who needs to hone his costing skills, may be asked to sit with the finance team to learn more about these issues and price escalations, etc. Now, on the job training is the most effective way to actually improve the performance of the HOD. Second, the HOD could be asked to read some relevant books and some relevant material. And lastly, you could arrange some training programs which are specific to the HOD. You could even ask the HOD to join some relevant online training programs. The important thing in these actions is that the onus for improvement must mostly rest on the shoulders of the concerned HOD. This is the most crucial thing. The HOD needs to take responsibility for his own development. Now the most crucial and important last step is to review the IDP action plan with the individual say once in three months. This is an absolute must-do activity and you business owner has to take the onus of doing this. I repeat, do not miss this step because it is with this step you will be able to understand how much initiative the HOD is taking to develop himself. To summarize, you must create an individual development plan for each HOD. The steps are based on the role document, what skills, knowledge and attitudes are needed. Assess the HOD on each of these attributes. Share your assessment with the HOD in a one-to-one -one meeting. Create the IDP, the Individual Development Plan, action-wise, with the bulk of owners lying on the HOD. And lastly, you must review the action plan very periodically, let's say quarterly. If you do these things, I can assure you, your HOD will show a significant change in his approach to his work. I hope this Kya Karu video not only helps you to build a more capable team, it will help you to delegate better. Also, it will create a more engaged set of employees and last but not least, it will improve your retention also. Thank you very much.